Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And before I get cracking, I'd just like to invite you, if there's anything you'd like me to talk about as part of this video blog, any topic relating to discipleship you've always wondered about or you want to kick off an interactive discussion about, do post it below in the comments section because I'd love to, to know what you're thinking. And, and also, uh, it'd be good for my brain to you know engage in something other than my usual tired thoughts. So do in introduce that below. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about learning, though. Um, discipleship is all about learning. The word disciple literally means learner or pupil. And we're called to be active in our learning, I think. Um, John Dewey, the educational theorist, said, we don't learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on experience. And I think that's very profound. We need to actively reflect to learn if we're going to grow and develop um, in the way of Christ. Holy Spirit, of course, is, is trying to help us, is trying to do that in us, but we often trip him up because we don't play ball and we just tread water and stall in our spiritual life because we're not thinking about stuff, not reflecting. One thing that, uh, one practice that I found very helpful is the practice of journaling um, and reflecting on experiences or encounters that we've had in a bit more of an intentional way. And there's a structure for that thought. I've often used the learning circle. I'm gonna to cut to that right now. Okay, so this is the learning circle from the Discipleship Life Shapes material. The line along the top indicates the passing of time and the X marks a particular event, something that happened, maybe positive or negative. And you think, I wanna reflect on that, so I'm gonna kick start the learning circle. First, I'm gonna observe what happened. I'm gonna jot down the bare bones, the events. And then I can start reflecting on them, saying, why did they happen? What was really going on there? What was the subtext? Why did I respond as I did? Why did so-and-so do X? Um, and then you can start drawing in some extra resources, maybe some uh, scriptures to interact with that and, and start to discuss it with somebody, get some external perspective, some different insights. Um, and once you've started gathering that material, you can start planning and saying, well, what am I going to do differently next time? How can I not make the same mistakes? Or how can I make more of that opportunity when it occurs again? And you need to get accountable to that plan and, and then put it into practice, act. And when you do, you enact a new reality. So that's a, a cool little tool, I think, and one which has really blessed me. And I find sometimes I find I find myself so encouraged and empowered when I do that kind of reflection because it could be quite a negative experience, quite a negative meeting or an encounter or whatever it is. But you sit down and you think, "Now I'm going to learn from this. I'm not going to make that mistake again." And you come out of it with some outcomes and some learning points, and it's so empowering. So I really encourage you. Maybe this week, just reflect on something. Sit down journal on it, go through the learning circle and come out stronger and empowered by the Holy Spirit to live a different kind of life.